it was really nice of me to create this uh, camera shelf yeah down to come and say hello morning morning yeah yeah all of my batteries about to go i've got about six of them okay mm. i've got some spares oh you're all right i think they're enjoying watching this bit what us say morning just talking about how many batteries we've got, got a bit of something there have i got a bit of something there no i just thought i'd check yeah no it's just should be yeah. Are they doing what? Us just chatting? Just chatting, yeah. Yeah. Do you think she'd edit this bit out or leave it in? Should well, leave that's it up in, to you. Yeah, yeah you'll probably edit it out, cos. No, I'll probably leave it in, actually. No. Do they like looking at my face? Yeah, that's that's a really close close up. Right, here we have it. Last week. So, it's Monday. The van is going on Thursday. There's still quite a lot to do. I was going to have today off, but I've decided I can't afford to have day, today off. Uh, I'm going to try and push to get as much of this done as I can. Just finished the waste pipe from the sink, plumb that took around. That's the only thing I've achieved so far today. However, this piece here this, that you see is the cladding that's gonna go here. Now, I've glued it together first and laid it flat on here and I'm gonna cut it to size and then stick it on rather than do one piece at a time. It's gonna be difficult to do one piece at a time because half of the door disappears behind this cupboard. Probably should have done that first, but as usual, because that door's open all the time, it's one of the last jobs I always remember to do. So I did this the other day and it did the bottom. I can get to it to screw it on through the back of here, but it's just gonna be easier if I do it all in one piece. Then I need to finish these parts up here, um, which I'm gonna do a similar thing where I glue all the sheets together and then cut them to size to fit there. Um, there's a few electrical bits I need to do. Um, I've got to plumb these little things in, I got temperature gauges, get them all working for the bobble situation, and then run the cables to uh, where the batteries are going to be. Then that is not far off it. There's a few other jobs as in extras. There is a, a mount there for a fold away desk, which is going to be around here somewhere. <sighs> it's very tight, but Oh, I've got to build the bed as well. Uh, the bed lats and everything are here. I've got to build them and get that ready. And then there's just this little piece here that's still... I still haven't done it. Because I, I can't see it from here. I keep forgetting about it. I, but I have put it on my list of things to do. So I shouldn't forget. It's break time. Isn't it? Guess who went to see some monkeys yesterday? We went to Monkey Forest, didn't we? Shall we show them some monkeys? Let's show them some monkeys. Do you want to see some monkeys? We'll show them some monkeys now. Given that it's the last few days, I've cracked on with a few things. I've clad the tops of those doors back there, so they're now finished, you can't see the insulation anymore, and it's ready for paint. The plumbing looks like this. Uh, the plumbing looks like that, it's got the U-bend, and then it goes down into the ground, and it's sealed up there. Just working, just working on the desk top. Uh, which also hopefully will fold down to make the bed, but I'm just testing that out because I'm not quite sure it's going to work But I'm trying my best to make that work. This is the mounting bracket for that Again, I'm not quite sure it's going to work, but I said that I would try it. We've got this Fold up extension to the desk uh, to the uh, kitchen worktop. We're basically, let's have some tabs and then Booyakasha! current situation is I've got this tester desk fold out thing um, I might make it a bit bigger I've still got this piece left but basically when you sat there you can have your laptop on uh, it's adjustable and move it around and stuff just quickly uh, I've done a few bits and bobs uh, to put the bed frame together that's done um, I think uh, the diesel heater controls but also the bobble vans uh, air temperature and water temperature this is how you change it to hot air or hot water or both 
for this little gadget here. Oh God, finally put this trim back on. This trim was like something that I did second week and then just forgot that piece and it's been sat there ever since not done. So that's finally done. Uh, all the water tanks have been tested. No leaks throughout any of it. There's no leaks in the shower anymore. So going, seems to be going well. We're just about to um, build a bit, put a bit of trim across here. And I've got to sand this sicker flex off, which is annoying. Two more days left for it to be done. Done for what I can do. That is, uh, obviously it's going off to get, to get the electrics done. And I'm not painting it, and I'm not finishing it, fin furnishing it, but I'm doing what I can. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited about this parcel that I've just got. Look at them. Sheesh, Bobby Dazzlers. Whoosh. Boosh, look at them. Is it, is it bad that I'm excited about those? Oh, lovely. What are you doing to your jacket, really? Overloading it with twisty wires. Uh. But what we've got attached to it is ceiling lights, water pump, diesel heater, and water heater. And what are you hoping to make? Robots. I'm going to make a coffee. A coffee? Is that the goal oh, of today? Oh, oh, coffee. Hang on, but what's so special about making this coffee? What are you making it with? Well, I'm making my own coffee. And I'm going to it with your special cafetiere, but more importantly, it's a diesel heater powered coffee. You heard it first. So here he is. Hot running water. Hot running water in a van. Is that hot? It's hot, yeah. That's amazing, that. Oh, it's currently at 78 degrees. Oh, have you got your thermostat now? And that's how you make coffee using your diesel heater. The way it works is the diesel heater powers air through a heat exchanger made by Bobble Vans at bobblevans.co.uk. Uh, that heat exchanger then has a pump that pumps water through into an 18 litre tank. That tank then heats up to around, it's meant to be 70 degrees, but I did push it a little bit for the coffee. And from there, that is pumped to the tap. And there we have hot coffee. Oh, the coffee, by the way. Is available at liamdeterrible.com. It's axe to grind coffee. Oh.